to Kate Cooks. Today we are going to be making chilli con carne, but it's not just your traditional chilli con carne. This is the chilli con carne that I've put together, which is sort of a cross between picadillo, which is a South American sort of chilli dish. Picadillo is very similar to chilli con carne, except it's a lot sweeter. So what I've done with this dish is I've sort of took the traditional British chilli con carne and the South American picadillo and sort of melded them together a bit. So it's just something that I call a picadillo chilli con carne. So the first thing we need to do is finely dice a large brown onion, a red bell pepper and just a few little cloves of garlic. Okay, so next you just want to add a little bit of olive oil to your pot and get that heating up on a medium heat. So once your olive oil is heated up, just add your onions in. Just want to give these a mix until they start to look translucent and a bit softer. Then once your onions have started to go a bit translucent and softened up, you ought to be adding your garlic in. Just want to keep stirring this to make sure the garlic doesn't burn. And after a few minutes, you can then add your red peppers. Give that a quick stir. And then to the pepper, garlic and onions, we want to be adding one heaped teaspoon of hot chilli powder, one tablespoon of paprika, a little sprinkle of cumin and a little pinch of some ground cloves. Then you just want to give that a good mix for a couple of minutes. Don't worry if any of this starts sticking to the bottom of your pan, we'll get all that when we have the stock and wine and things. Then you want to add 500 grams of ground beef mince. And just break that up. Probably notice I'm using a whisk here. I find it really easy to break mince up with a whisk. And then we just want to cook that until it's browned. Once you've browned your mince through, add in two tablespoons of tomato puree. Just stir that through for about a minute. And then you want to add about 250 millilitres of wine. Ideally you'd want a red, all I've got is a rosé here, but it'll do. Then you just want to stir this through and burn off the alcohol. And then we want to add 400 millilitres of beef stock. This is just stock from a stock cube. A 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes. Half a teaspoon of majoram. And one teaspoon of oregano. And finally one tablespoon of brown sugar. Then you just want to give that a mix through. Add one stick of cinnamon, then you want to bring that to the boil. And then once that's come to the boil, turn the heat down, put the lid on, then you just want to allow that to simmer for about 90 minutes. Once your 90 minutes is up, take that lid off. Remove the cinnamon stick and then leave that for another 20 minutes to start to thicken up. Once that 20 minutes has passed, add in one tin of drained kidney beans, one tin of rinsed and drained baked beans and a handful of seedless raisins. Mix all that together, season to taste with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'll leave that for a fair of 20 minutes. And with that, the chilli's cooked. So I cooked up a bit of rice to go with this. Also, I'm just going to add a little drizzle of soured fresh cream. And then we'll give this a taste. Mm. It is such a nice chilli dish. You can really taste the sweetness from the picadillo part of it, but it's still got all the classic parts of it that a regular British chilli con carne has. Mm. 
if you like your food a bit hotter, you can always, when you're seasoning it towards the end, add a bit of extra chilli powder. Or if you know when you're going to want it hotter before you've tasted it, put a bit extra in anyway. Mm. I could not recommend this one enough to you. Honestly, give this one a try. This is a really, really good chilli. So, that will be everything for today. I'm going to go and eat this.